Okay, so let's see where we use logarithmic differentiation. Okay. Let's say we have a function like so. Okay, it has a few products and in the denominator it again has a few more products. Okay, so there are two ways of actually three ways of differentiating this function. First is that you use the product rule and the quotient rule. Okay, that is you use the quotient rule and the product for these two and for these four. Okay, second way, okay, it looks long. Right, let's take only the product rule. Okay, you take these up with powers of negative 1 for both of them and then you differentiate. Now the third method is exactly what is known as logarithmic differentiation. What I do is I take the natural log on both sides. So I get a log here and now here we have a log of a over b. Okay, When I take the log on the RHS it is, let's say this whole thing is a and this whole thing is b. So we have the form log a over b which is simply log of a take away log of b using the basic property of log. So I can write this as negative log of b. Okay. Now a is a product of four things. Okay. Let's say one, two, three, four. Now log of a times b, there's a property, it's log of a plus log of b. Okay, so using the second property, I can rewrite log of a as log of x minus 1 plus log of x plus 2 plus log of x plus 3 plus log of x minus 4, which are these four things, okay? Now negative log of b. Now log of b is again a product of log of a product of two things which can be written as the sum of their individual logs. So this is log of x plus 5 plus log of x minus 3. And now if you differentiate this whole thing, you can easily apply d by dx of ln x equals 1 over x and you get the answer. So that's logarithmic differentiation. Let's take the example and complete it. Another example, I have y equals x minus 1, x plus 2 over x minus 3. Okay, so taking the log, I have ln y equals log of a, which is the numerator, negative log of the denominator, using the property ln a over b equals ln a take away ln b. Okay, if you have any confusion, ln is the natural log which has a base e. Right. Now this further can be written as log of x minus 1 plus log of x plus 2 since ln a times b, sorry, ln a times b is ln a plus ln b minus ln x minus 3. Now let's differentiate both sides. I get a 1 by y dy over dx using the chain rule here equals 1 over please read the video by chain rule if you didn't get this part plus this negative 1 over x minus 3. So dy by dx is simply y where y is x minus 1 x plus 2 right from there. Okay, so this is y times this whole thing. So that's the answer. So that's where you use 
logarithmic differentiation for long products and quotients.